Metropolitan cities are the leaders in economy in any country. They are sort of the hub of activity and they face the challenges that normal cities face but 20 times multiplied. Metropolitan regions face uh, numerous challenges. Governance, financing, environmental and huge social challenges. If you succeed in actually addressing those challenges, then the impact is really, really huge. When the Metro Lab started, the whole idea was how can cities learn from other cities? Peer-to-peer -peer learning is one of the most powerful ways for cities to learn, for communities to learn, and in fact, for people to learn. The Metro Lab is a community of practice. It brings together some of the most important emerging cities in the world. They discuss the big issues that confront them, not from an expert and not from an outsider or a consultant, but as peers. They are learning from one another and they're implementing and refining their ideas into action. Mostly we think of peer-to-peer -peer learning as a one-off kind of thing. But here we were thinking of something which would be a group of cities, multi-year, and also it was going to be programmatic. The first Metro Lab was in New York City. We have then followed up in Mumbai, Seoul, metropolitan region, Dar es Salaam, Paris, and Rio de Janeiro. To be in this kind of network is great. We do not want to reinvent the wheel. It has been done before by those who have gone ahead of us. We are not alone. We must consult. Even though these regions are very different, we can definitely learn from each other about how to address some of these, these different issues. I think I've been inspired by some of the cities and the ways that they are actually really rethinking their structures to try and address problems more on a metropolitan scale. That's one of the things I'm going to take back to New York. When I see what Rio or Mumbai or other city regions are doing, I think we ought to challenge some of the um, assumptions we have. We know we're the little engine that could, which means you just have to do it, you have to try it, and then from there you can draw your best practices. The knowledge gained by attending the seven Metro Labs so far has helped me in my day-to-day -day work of regional planning in a manner that I understand it contextually much better now. And I have the ability to pass on through discussions to 40 professionals who work in my department. We do have a Karachi strategic development plan. But looking at uh, other cities' experiences, there has been a realization that probably we need to revisit and realign it with the modern technologies. So that has given us a different sort of understanding that things could be done in a different way. The long-term vision of the Metro Lab is really to become a self-sustaining group in knowledge exchange and learning from each other these cities actually become leaders in their regions for other metropolitan cities which may not be a part of the Metro Lab. It's a way to help clients find solutions for the problems that they live every day. In doing so, achieving the goals of the development community, which is eradicating poverty and fostering shared prosperity. This is a remarkable uh, community that is actually producing innovations producing results that are contributing to the way that cities are being shaped and will be shaped in the future. O tema metropolitano é um tema que precisa ser difundido. É muito importante a presença do Metrolab para ajudar a mostrar que não é um esforço isolado. Pelo mundo afora, diversas metrópoles têm enfrentado esse desafio e estão buscando saídas. 